My name is Mariama Lockington, and I'm the Director of Education for 826NYC. We are a writing and tutoring nonprofit based in Park Slope, Brooklyn. We were the second chapter of the 826 National Network to open up in 2004, and we've been here in Park Slope for 10 years now, um, working with students 6 through 18 on all types of different programs. Um, so we um, invite students to our space for field trips, where they collectively write stories together and walk away with a bound book. We host after-school tutoring, um, where students work in small groups with uh, volunteer tutors on whatever homework they bring in for the day. And then there's a writing component where students engage with different prompts and um, write stories and essays and poems that then get published in a chat book. And then we also serve students in our workshops program and our in-schools programs, where we have um, small classes that we work with of students on writing-based activities, uh, novel writing, um, epic poetry, comic art, improv comedy, where students can come and engage in something that they might not otherwise get in school. So all of our student programming is 100% free for families and students. So your donation today is going to make sure that we are able to keep providing these free services to make sure that students who um, submit their creative writing to us are able to be published in our after school chat books, to make sure that we're able to work with teachers in schools on a semester long themed project where students then get published in an anthology. It means that we're able to work with high school seniors and juniors on their personal statement essays during our personal statement weekend um, and keeping our doors open for our families and students to engage with creative writing, to work on their academic skills and be able to um, share experiences um, with our volunteer tutors who are incredible mentors to our students. Three, two, one, zero, launch! I am Johnny and I am on a rocket. I am going to space. I scream, mayday, mayday, and land on a planet that is far, far away from the sun. When I land on the planet, I notice that it is lonely. If I could create a superhero to help me in my life, they would be able to turn me into a superhero and also protect me from danger. I was walking home from school when I ran into myself. He looked just like me. If I had a bucket list of things to do, I would do this. Jump off a volcano, jump in a pool of airheads, jump in a pool of chicken wings, jump into the Grand Canyon. Once there was an electric eel. He was living inside an old man's head. He was giving electricity to the man's brain to keep him alive. The old man opened up his head and put the eel in a fish tank. He was still alive. My self-portrait will be made out of marble stone. It will be me on top of the Eiffel Tower with a herd of dogs. The dogs will be these types. German Shepherd, Husky, French Bulldog, English Dogs, Pitbull, Yorkie, Bulldog, Wiener Dog, Shepherd Dog. Sitting in my desk staring off into space, I think about the Slug Kingdom. King Slug, said one of the King Slug servants. King Slug looked out of his window in his giant mushroom house. Oh no, it's Mulsuk, thought the king. Go down and escort Mulsuk up here, the king said to his right-hand man, Lenny. When Lenny returned with Mulsuk, Mulsuk screamed, My king, the queen has been taken by Lord Salzar Spider. Once there were three girls named Tanya, Ashley and Estefani. Ashley was two, Tanya was eight, and Estefani was nine. One day, Tanya and Ashley went to the grocery store. They met a man. He was the owner of the grocery store. When he went to the bathroom, Ashley saw a door across the store. Once, there was a zombie named Earth. The other zombies she knew used to make fun of her name. Her parents were thinking about how the Earth was a big circle when she was born. Earth was proud of her name, but her mom said, I'm going to change your name to Lizbeth. So Earth felt happy and sad about changing. She was happy that she would not get teased anymore, but she was sad about losing her beautiful, unusual name. I had a dream that one day a hot chocolate was screaming, ah, because it was a snowy day and the snow touched him. He got colder and colder until he froze. I really want to find out how those stories end. When you're supporting 826NYC, you're giving the kids the confidence to say, I can be a writer, I am a writer. 
Maybe they could grow up one day to write the next Hunger Games or the next Harry Potter, and you'll be someone who helped them get there.